What is going on you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you Netmarble for sponsoring this video because I've been looking for a new game to play and I have discovered Phantom Gate The Last Valkyrie. Now if you guys would do me a favor, check out the link in the description, download the game, give it a try, it will surprise you. Now obviously you can see there's great art, it's a very unique visual style with some really cool scenes. And then Phantom Gate has fused the side-scrolling adventure game with very deep turn-based combat mechanics. And it's all about phantoms, okay? If you didn't guess based upon the title, Phantom Gate, phantoms are going to be actually your foes, but they can also be your friends because you're going to need help along the way battling some pretty strong characters. We will get to the actual battle with Thor at some point, but for now, maybe we're not quite ready for this guy. Uh, but there are a lot of battles that happen as you explore the world. So you can see here, it's not a game that you would have seen me play before. It is pretty unique, but I have to tell you, there's a lot more to it than I first thought. I realized there's these puzzles. You have to figure out different mechanics of items. You have to pick up items and use them in other parts of the map. And again, it combines the side-scrolling with the turn-based combat. And yes, she's a Valkyrie. In fact, she's she's the last Valkyrie. And if you guys don't know where the history of Valkyrie comes from, it is Norsk mythology. And if you guys know me, you know that I'm a Viking, okay? If you didn't know that, it's true. I am Nordic in heritage, Norwegian to be specific. So I love this fact that it's got some Norsk influence and a Norsk storyline. So I'm continuing to adventure around here. I've got the Valkyrie wings. That's kind of helpful because it's going to help you fly around. And again, you see there's a lot of different objects to interact with. But again, it comes down to the battles. You start out alone, but quickly you'll find that you can actually uh, summon other phantoms by picking up phantom essences. You can create them, you can level them up, and you can even evolve them. And, well, when you evolve a phantom, we'll show you one at the end. Uh, it, there's a lot involved in that because you're going to see skill increases, uh, hit point increases, and of course, even appearance increases as they evolve into slightly different and more advanced phantoms. And I'm still admittedly kind of early on in this game, and it's got me hooked. It really does. So here's a battle we just got into, and I'll talk a little bit about the mechanics of the battle. So right here, I have got, if you look at the top of the screen, it's turn-based strategy. So this is a big one right here. Earth, water, fire, and wind. The elements, and you can see each element has an advantage over other elements. So having knowledge as to what you're attacking and what you're attacking with, that's what you want to be looking for. And again, the yellow arrow, that means they take more damage. So right here, looking back, I should be attacking Floating Eye and not the Hyena at the bottom because the Floating Eye was vulnerable to my attacking Astrid. She's only level two, but she's going to get there. She's going to get stronger. Check back with me. I guarantee you she is going to be a higher level. And then I've got Mini Ming. And again, I'll be picking up additional phantoms as I progress through the game. And you've got a wide variety of phantoms that you can choose from. And each of them has a unique skill set and has unique strengths and weaknesses. Now also, did you notice that floating bubble that just passed off the screen? I missed that. There's so much to this game. You've got to be careful because that's a free attack boost right there that you can grab as it's floating by. So if you don't pay attention, you can miss out. Now also, this was an early battle, relatively easy, but we'll show you in just a moment that the battles get a lot harder and a little knowledge, a little skill advancement goes a long way. So it's not complicated to figure out how it works, but you do need to pay attention because you can gain a pretty strong advantage by using the right elements in the right order when you're considering who you're attacking with and who you choose to attack. So here is a look at another battle and look at the bar along the top of your screen. Because this is turn-based, each of these characters is going to have a different amount of time between attacks. And if you look at the top of your screen, you can see the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and they change. That is telling you which character gets to attack next. And this can be critical in your decision as to who you want to attack. Is one low in health? Is one about to get another attack? And can you take it out, get it down before it attacks you again? Now check out the attack buff floating off the screen again. Again, Gala fail. I miss it, and uh, but that's okay. I'm going to be able to succeed anyway by selecting specific skill attacks. You'll notice the top left, 
I'm running low on mana, so I can't use certain attacks. So you can choose to sit out a turn, regain mana, and then have the ability to use other skills, or you can stick to the basics. You can see here she's using the most basic attack. It doesn't do nearly the damage, but we're close to winning right here. We're going to finish this one off with a Judgment of Light, and we've cleared another level. Now, are you guys ready for this? There are over 300 phantoms that you can collect in this game, and each and every one is going to have different skill sets, and those skills are what you're going to need to conquer certain opponents. So it's important to not only collect the phantoms, but to upgrade them as well and make sure that you've got them as strong as possible. And again, paying attention to their abilities, their advantages and their disadvantages. And as you can see, there's a lot to the adventure, the side scroll mode of this game. It's not just, just run over there. I mean, you've got to unlock certain levers. You've got to pick up keys. And you can see right here, as you get through it, you can get an idea of who you're going to be facing. Now we have opened the door, but we kind of want to go ahead and face the Relic Bear because you want to pick up as many Phantom Essences and Phantom Souls as you can so that you can create and level them up and eventually get to the boss battles. This is an Armored War Bear and you'll notice it's a little bit later in the game. I've progressed and now I've picked up a level 4 War Bear. So Astrid herself is level 5, Mini Ming who's pretty much always at her side, although you can again switch out for other phantoms and then the war bear who also has unique abilities like roar and some of these abilities will affect all of your opponents they will be debuffs they will cause buffs to your own side mini ming right here healing everybody on my side so somebody low in health like war bear all right well okay oh there, okay we grabbed the attack increase that time we lost war bear but we haven't lost the war you can see here that Astrid is pretty darn strong, okay? So she is going to be the anchor, the key, the main character that you're going to use on these attacks, but don't forget these special abilities. Again, Mini Ming with some great attacks and some healing that is going to make you survive these battles and get through much higher level beasts, like the Armored War Bear right here. You can see again, that just happens to be my favorite rallying cry. That looks a little bit like Chief Cat, doesn't it? That looks like Chief Pat's cat. I'm gonna have to call and ask him about this and see if he's playing Phantom Gate as well. I bet you he is. I bet he is. So here we go. We're working our way through this. Again, watch the top of your screen. Watch the buffs floating down. We pick up an attack increase. So now when Astrid uses Judgment of Light, she just about finishes off the War Bear. Mini Ming finishes him off completely. But again, top of your screen, we can see the order in which the opponents and our own characters are going to attack and that is where you want to use strategy on whether you're going to conserve special attacks or you're going to focus all of your attacks on one of the opponents to get it out of the way first also depending upon the strength the hit points and what other buffs debuffs that your opponent causes so there's a lot to this game it's beautiful the art is beautiful there's a ton of chapters you've got side scrolling adventure you've got turn-based strategy attacking and defending and then of course you've got summoning upgrading and evolving the phantoms themselves so download phantom gate from the link in the comments let me know what you think and i'll see you again tomorrow for more full valkyrie attacks